just going to wait for a few people to join and then I'm going to introduce myself to everyone. I'm going to start making sure I have all my ingredients. I'm setting up and we're just going to wait. Hi. Say hi. Don't be rude. <laughs> I'm just getting my ingredients ready while we wait for some people to join. Hi guys, I see you. Hey. Hi, first timer. Hey. Some of you, I recognize your um, screen names as those who show me love on a day-to-day -day basis. So thank you very much. Tonight, as advertised, as promised, I'm going to be cooking jerk snapper stuffed with crab meat from start to finish we're just gonna wait for a couple more people to join i see everyone coming in so far welcome hi i see those of you who are waving so i don't want to wait too long so i'm gonna start by showing you this snapper this snapper is about one pound and it's wet because I just washed it with some lime. Here's some lime and I always try to use a little bit of lime on the fish when I'm seasoning it because it takes away that raw fishy type of flavor that it tends to get, all right? So first things first, what we're gonna do, we're going to put a, a slit here and a slit here on both sides. Don't ask me why, I don't know why we do that. We just do it. All right, so I'm gonna pat it dry for it first. And while I pat this dry, I'm going to turn my fire on so that while we're seasoning, this pot can be heating up. That way when we add the fish, we're adding it to a hot frying pan and not a cold frying pan and we're also going to warm up that oil because you never want to put fish on cold oil that's how your fish starts to break up hi guys i see all the ones who just joined welcome welcome okay so i'm patting this fish dry and if you have any questions guys feel free to type your questions, I'll answer them as I go along. All right. So what we're doing here is I'm putting my two slits in the fish. All right. So I got two slits on both sides and then we're going to start seasoning it. All right, so there you go. Two slits on both sides. I'm going to pat it dry just for good measure. And then we're going to start seasoning while our pot heats up. All right, so first I got my adobo. I'm going to lightly sprinkle it. My parents are Jamaican. I was born in the UK. So shout out to anybody who's from the UK. Shout out to Jamaicans. Okay, there's my adobo. I'm gonna rub it in. Now here's my dry jerk seasoning. I'm going to lightly sprinkle. And make sure you always um, get some seasoning on the inside of the fish, because this is also crucial. Okay, after each step, I tend to rub it in. My pot is getting hot, so I'm going to add my oil. And now our oil is gonna continue to heat up. So I got my Old Bay here, lightly sprinkle on both sides. Make sure you get on the inside. And I have my seafood seasoning here. Now we're just gonna rub it in, rub it in. Rub it in nice and good. Okay. All right. So now I have 
a jar of my homemade jerk seasoning. This I made a week ago. The recipe is on my YouTube channel if you want to know how to make the jerk seasoning from scratch. Okay, so I got a spoonful. And now we're going to just put it on top. And we're going to just massage it in on both sides. All right. So this fish is slightly wet. So we're gonna give it just a few for the moisture to evaporate. We're gonna set it here. I got my little paper towel to wipe my hands because next we're gonna be flouring this fish. Some people add flour, some people don't add flour. I was always taught to add flour, so that's what I'm gonna continue doing. Okay. So now, we have our fish, as you can see. It's nicely seasoned. Hi guys! Hello to everyone who's just now um, joining us. All we did was season our fish and heat our oil so you joined at the right time. And this live stream is gonna be available for 24 hours on my profile. So if you forget any of the steps, you can always come back and look at it. Here we go. So now it's been a few minutes. Our oil is nicely warm. And what I'm gonna to start to do now, I have some flour here and we're gonna flour up that fish. Okay. Here we go. So I'm gonna put fish, I'm gonna pat it as well. You don't wanna cake the flour on. Cause anytime you cake the flour onto there, it just never turns out right. So you lightly pat it, just like this. Okay. And you flour from the head to the tail. I can feel the heat from this pot. I know it's almost ready for me to put the fish in. Okay, all right. I just did it off screen a bit because the flour is flying everywhere. I'm gonna have a huge mess to clean up. Where are you guys from? I'm from New York, so I'm here in New York. It's cold as hell, but summer is on the horizon. Yes, this is a snapper. All right, so here's our fish. As you can see, it's floured on both sides from head to tail. Oh, my fellow New Yorkers, New Jersey, what's up to the tri-state area? We got DC in the house. I'm adding the fish now. Okay, my fire is on high. And this is just going to fry on both sides. So while that's frying, we can have a little chit chat. I see Florida's in here, Barbados. Wow, all around the world. High Prestige 1626. I remember you telling me you was gonna tune in tonight. Uh-oh, Trinidad and Tobago. Hey. Jamaica, of course. Much love to my Jamaican people. And of course, I got my little glass of wine here. Wine is always necessary. Mm. Hey, Colorado. Wow, I didn't expect that. Colorado. I would love to go to Colorado. Bahamas. I've been to the Bahamas, actually. I went a few years ago. I stayed at the Rio. That's right across from the Atlantis Resort. And it was amazing. I had the time of my life. And if you ever go to Bahamas, make sure you check out the fish fry. Jesus Christ, that fish fry? What? Me and my husband went there one day. We had fried snapper. I had rice um, with mac and cheese. My husband had the lumby, which is conch. And then the next day, we went back again for part two. That's how good. Australia, damn. Originally from Haiti. My husband's parents are from Haiti. So, Sakpase, 
to all my Haitian people. I've never been to Washington, D.C. Uh-oh, I see some more Zoes joining in. Zoe Life, Sac Passe. Hi, Alicia. Oh, look, one of my friends joined. Hey. All right, so let me not get carried away before I burn this fish on live. Let me just take it. Let me just look. No, not ready. And one thing I always do, hi, Ashley. One thing I always do, before I turn the fish over, I take a little peek. Because you want to avoid flipping the fish back and forth way too many times, way too many times. That leads to the fish breaking apart, and that is annoying.com. All right, so I'm not going to flip it. I don't think it's ready to be flipped. Jamaica, I've been to Jamaica several times because my family is out there. You're Haitian and your husband is Jamaican. Okay, so me and my husband are the exact opposite. I'm the Jamaican one. He's the Haitian one. So we have Buju during the week and Sweet Mickey on the weekends, okay? It's going to cook approximately five to seven minutes on each side. If you want your fish fried hard, then you can cook it for a little bit longer. Some people like their fish to be really, really crispy. So in that case, I would cook it for like maybe 10 minutes on both sides. And then you get that really hard, crispy fish that has a nice crunch. I don't really like my fish that way because I find it's dry. Who wants to eat dry food? Really? Should be studying for NCLEX. Girl, you better go do them Saunders questions. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. No. Sorry. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit just in case I missed someone's question. Someone asked me where I'm located. I said I'm in New York. Oh, God. I don't want to miss anyone's question. I think I got Don't forget my Nigerians. Sorry. I hope I didn't forget my Nigerians. I love my Nigerians. I'm trying to try that jollof rice, but I need to find a good recipe. All right. So it's been about five minutes. My fish is ready to turn. We're going to turn it over on the next side. Oh my God. So the jerk seasoning kind of makes the fish look dark. So to you, it'll look burned, but it's not burned. It's just the, um, the dark jerk seasoning, but it's fine. Because, you know, some people be going ham in my comments. Oh, your food looks burnt. It's not burnt. I don't make burnt food. I would never give people burnt food to eat. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to miss anybody. Okay. All right. Are you guys hearing me well? Someone said they can't hear me. Just let me know if you can hear me. I know this fish is crying really loud. So it's overtaking the sound, but let me know if you can't hear me. All right. Let me try to fix it. Okay. We're good now. All right, good. All right, good. Everyone says they can hear me, so that's good. So I flipped my fish on one side. Let me see if I could show it to you without getting burned. There's the fish. You see how it looks a little dark? That's okay. It's going to look dark because of the seasoning. All right, let me turn it down a bit. Because what you don't want to do is have the fish look all crispy and burned on the outside, but then soft on the inside. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Star Banner, where are you from? Are you Guyanese? Let me know. Thank you. All righty. So let me turn this down just a bit. Because I don't want it to cook too quickly. If it cooks too quickly. Ah, you see, I knew you were from Guyana. You got to be Guyana. You got to be from Guyana. You're Starbana. <laughs> I know my people. My best friend is Guyanese. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> GT bye. <laughs> You hungry? Well, this is going to stay up 
on my profile for 24 hours. Oh Lord, I'm sweating. Let me take my glasses off. I'm sweating. This is making me hot. This is gonna be on my live for 24 hours. So if you forget some of the ingredients or you forget the method, you could always come back and look at it. All right. I think this fish is ready to come out. There we go. I'm going to put it on a paper towel just for it to soak. And there you have it. Let me show it to you. So like I said, you're going to see these dark marks because the jerk seasoning is very dark. So that's fine. If you want to, oh my God, look at this. I got flour on my face. I'm a hot mess. Look at this. I hope y'all don't mind. Okay. Yes, this is a red snapper. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to prepare the crab meat. I'm going to throw off some of this oil because we really don't need that much oil and turn my fire down. Let's throw off some of this oil. I'm throwing off about three quarters of that oil. As you can see, I'm pouring it in here. Please, God, don't let me burn myself on live. Okay. There we go. So we have minimal oil left. I'm gonna try and take out as much bits as possible because when you leave the bits behind, those are the things that pop and crack and snap out at you and you can end up getting burned. So I have my butter here. And what I'm going to do is take a spoonful and then what we're gonna start doing is melting the butter. This is my favorite part because I just love it. So many seafood stores opening in your city. Oh, great. Hey, boo. Hey, Chrissy. Okay, I don't want to miss anybody. Thank you, NY Bells. I appreciate it. Imani, thank you. Winnie, your partner is Guyanese. Uh-oh. So you have that pepper pot on Christmas. I don't know how to make pepper pot. And look at that, I'm gonna start bunning out my best friend. All these years we've been friends, she's Guyanese, and she never bring me any pepper pot. Yes, you, Ashley, I'm talking to you. Shame. So I'm burning my butter, well not burning it, but I'm melting it. I got my fire down low. Okay. And what I'm going to do is take my crab meat scroll up so I don't miss anything thank you haha <laughs> Ashley I put you on blast on live and all these people <laughs> all right so I have my crab meat here this is the claw meat um, you can also use the lump crab meat but um, mommy's on a budget okay so this one is about ten dollars cheaper and it's still authentic and this is the one that I use okay so here, I'm going to put about half into the pot, all right, and there we go. So that's just going to saute, and while that's sauteing, I'm going to add, let me turn my fire up a bit, because I really want this to be a quick saute. All right, so I am going to add onion powder turn my fire up just a little bit the crab meat already has flavor itself just because it's sweet crab meat so you don't want to overwhelm that flavor by adding a bunch of seasoning to it very simple just onion powder and garlic powder that's all you need okay so our fire is on and we're just sauteing and it's gonna be so good it'll have that rich buttery onion and garlic flavor to the crab meat okay all right so once all of the butter good night oh good night for those of you just joining, I'm making fried snapper, a fried jerk snapper stuffed with crab meat. So we're up to the part 
where we're doing the crab meat I'll pick up the pot and show you this is what it looks like and you want to use the same pot and this is important because once you throw off some of that oil the remaining oil still has the flavor from the fish that you just um, cooked in there so this crab is basically flavored with the fried snapper and the seasonings that you fry the snapper in the butter plus the onion powder and the garlic powder and now hold on it's time to take a sip mm. Mm. so good okay so now our crab meat is ready I soaked it on a paper towel and now we are going to stuff it with the crab meat who loves seafood take a sip for you too mm, you ain't got to tell me twice look mmm so good all right here we go so let me turn this fire off before I burn my crab meat All right, there you go. So here is our. First of all, this is what I always do. Let me take a little. Let me take a little. A little taste, taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Now I have to use a different spoon because I put my mouth on that one. Okay. Oh, there's even shells in there. That's how you know it's authentic. Okay. So here's my spoon. And I'm just going to open up the inside of the fish and stuff it right in. But I only got two hands, so I can't do it in front. So what I'm doing, I'm just stuffing it, and I'm going to show you what it's like. All righty. And we are pretty much finished. All right. Here we go. There is our fried jerk snapper stuffed with crab meat. Oh, look, the crab meat fell out. What am I drinking? I'm drinking this is white sangria. Mm, you just reminded me to take another drink. Mm. Okay. You're allergic to seafood. Oh. Knowing me, I'd have my EpiPen on standby. Just get you a little Benadryl. Let me stop. Don't take my advice. Bad nurse. Bad nurse. <laughs> okay, good. From Brooklyn, when you make arroz con gandules. Oh. You know, I speak a little Spanish too, you know. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your support. Drink cupcake. It's a name of a white wine. Mm, I'll write that down. Mm -hmm. So look. Now you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me turn this fire off. Oh, it's off. It's off. So let's take a taste. Let's see what our fish looks like on the inside. Oh, look there. Let me show it to you. See? I'll turn it this way so you can see. Look. See? It's not burned, but it's very dark because of the jerk um, seasoning. So look. Take a look at how moist that meat is mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> okay and it's like the crab meat is like a little treat on the side you know what I'm saying so the snapper is the main course the crab meat is the side piece mm-hmm so good okay guys so this is pretty much it and this is where my live comes to an end do you have any last minute questions before I end this live while I eat this food I'm eating it you want some Alicia oh, I know you're right there I wish I could just FedEx some of you some of this food so you can enjoy it too mm. what can you use instead of crab meat 
I don't know, but then shrimp is so large. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are good. You can stuff it with breadcrumbs that you season. That's good. Or um, stuffing. Stuffing is good. Like that, um, that stove top stuffing that you're seeing at Thanksgiving. You can stuff it. And that'll be good too. Why fry instead of cooking the oven? Why not? I have some jerk snapper in the oven right now too. While I'm doing live with you. You can do either or. But frying was just better for live because I don't want to be open in the oven while in the middle of my live. Do more lives? I sure will. This is my first time doing it. And I said, well, what can I do that will be quick enough so that, you know, you guys don't get bored and tune out? Um, this was it. I just decided to pick a fried fish. But in the future, you can always, if you see a recipe that I post up, let me know in the comments if you want me to go live and cook it. But it can't be a dish that takes like two hours because who's going to sit through a live feed for two hours? Um, this is going to be on my profile for 24 hours. So you'll be able to like write down any notes you see. Plus, I put the ingredients on my IG story. So you can like screenshot it. Um, I have to cook this again in order to make a YouTube video for it. But I definitely will. And you guys get the first heads up. This week, I'm going to be doing um, seafood week. So this week... I'm going to be sharing my best seafood recipes. Um, you guys are the first to know because you tuned into my live. And thank you so much. So I'll let you know what I have coming up for this week. I have jerk salmon. I'm doing curry crab and dumplings. Um, I got the snapper. And um, I wrote it down, but I forgot. But yeah, stay tuned. This week is going to be seafood week. And don't forget to go back on my second to last post where um, I talked about having meatless Mondays in March. Um, some of my followers uh, have been DMing me and saying that they'd like to see more vegetarian recipes or vegan recipes. Just recipes and all that don't contain meat. Because I do post a lot of meat because meat is like a staple of the Caribbean diet. So I will try it. But depending on the interest... Um, I'm not going to do it if people are not interested in it. So we're going to try it out for the month of March. Even if you think of something along the way that you think I could make or something you're interested, drop a comment on that post and just let me know. Cause you know, we should really be, we shouldn't be eating meat every day. We got to have a few days out of the week where, um, we take a break from meat. And even if you're not eating meat, have fish or salmon instead, just to remain health conscious, okay? All right. Curry crab and dumplings this. I can't wait, I can't wait. Pumpkin with no meat, okay, that sounds good. Curry cauliflower, that sounds good. Wait, let me scroll up a bit, just in case I miss. Jerk salmon, I had the jerk salmon cooked already. That's gonna be my post tomorrow, okay? All right, guys, now I'm hungry and I want to eat this food. So it's time for me to peace out and make sure you check it. Tune into my next live. I don't know yet what I'm going to be cooking, but thank you all for joining my live. I appreciate you all. Good night. I got work in the morning and I should be going to bed. I'm up past my bedtime. Bye.